I didn't know the uh, the last few episodes what you were trying to do was actually. I thought you were farming, and I was like, oh, you know, I guess that that does make sense. No, I, I I knew it was on the edge, and then I was just yeah. like, oh well, here's the thing, and you were looking for the Forsaken Fortress the whole time. I could yeah. just look it up that whole time. But I was like, oh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want one episode to just be travel and we'll stop and, you know, that things can be exciting. We'll, like, find stuff and, you know, I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be, come on, just. And turn around. Around. For such a small boat, he has such a wide turning radius. I know, right? But I knew it was, I thought it was in the bottom corner, not the top corner, and I got, I got, oh, I, I just got it confused. Birdman contest, sign in a counter. If you think you were born to fly, then take the challenge of the skies and win fame and prizes. Oh, this should do good for us since we have the, uh, the new, uh, Oh, the like increased magic. magic. Yeah. Greetings, O oh person who has surely come. Take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman Contest. Now listen, you are free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the rolling seas, like so much dead weight driftwood. Jeez, guy. A banner stands now at the site where the great talented champion who has flown the farthest to date crashed into the worthy frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. If you are able to pass this flag, then you will be named the new champion, and you will be drenched in praise, as much as you'll be drenched in seawater. Participate fee is a mere ten rupees. Will you take the challenge? I will. Okay, then. Where do you go? Don't seem to have any wings or feathers on your back. But you have something that you can use to fly, right? I sure hope you do. Here's wishing the wind beneath your, uh, thing, whatever it is. I got a leaf. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, a challenger. The contest is... Oh, sorry. Wah! Oh, a challenger. The contest is a fort. He has a Wario mustache. I love his mustache so much. I, I aspire. To have that kind of... Yeah. It just doesn't grow that way. Yeah. You should, the thing is, you have to just let it keep going, get the length, and then make it... And then it'll eventually angle up in a in a harsh curl. Well, that, that you'll have to do yourself. That you'll have to do with some pomade or. Oh, I thought it was natural. <laughs> only for the only for Wario and uh, apparently this gentleman. You'll see that man afar off in the distance. It marks the record distance set by our great and talented champion. You must pass the banner. Seems easy enough. Yeah, right. With the cyclones and everything. That's the only thing is you gotta keep the height. Oh, you have to have the, uh... What? You hit the banner, I guess? I ran out of magic. What? what are you talking about? You said your record holder was that banner. Get out of town, So you guy. have to pass the banner? Does that mean that there's one more magic upgrade and you literally can't do it without the magic upgrade? I don't think so. I think... Sounds like a perfect run. He said the record's 256 yards. I went Wait, 200... He didn't, he didn't fill up your magic the entire way. Oh, it, 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 okay. it comes back. Okay. Yeah. Can you, can you go any faster if, like, you hold down or anything? Or? No. Uh. Uh. To be honest, I was, I was paying attention. I was focusing on the thing. So I have to... You were looking at the magic bar? Yeah. This episode will just be called Flyboys. <laughs> Yeah. 
The record is 256. My record, 256. The same as the champion. You don't want us beating the champion. You want us getting the exact same, uh, fight. Oh my god. Are you... Oh, oh fucking yes. yes! That's awesome. That, that, is, that, that is wonderful. Oh, uh, you're breathtaking. You have shown me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes, they're unworthy. That wasn't that hard. You got that on the first shot. Right, right. right first shot. shot. Only... I wonder how long it did take us. Probably like 20 minutes. 25, maybe. Amazing. Oh, wait. Amazing. You blew past my brother's best record in impressive fashion. Thank you a fine, distinguished member of the Rito tribe. I guarantee the former champion upstairs says so. You, you are both great and talented. So as champions of the Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize. Oh, thank God. Come back anytime. If you desire to fly again, I shall wait with one eye on the sky and the other on the sea. Okay. Well, at least it was something worthwhile. Right. That's not where you were parked. It was not. Also, they don't refill my uh, magic? Come on, guy. Need that stuff. You could spend 10 rupees and yeah, just that, jump that, off the side. That's not, uh, I'll fly. Oh, you don't have to pay anymore. Once you win, you don't have to pay. Weird. <laughs> I love how it does the flying music. Just turn it up. Seven yards. A whopping seven yards. Wow, you can jump seven yards? That's pretty crazy. I guess you have the benefit of a uh, long way down, right? Yeah. Arc that son bitch. And then you're reminded that he is looking at a kaleidoscope. Oh, right? right? Like... You have, you, you have to really go out of your way to know that. All right. Come on, fish. All right, you know what's here? Thanks a lot. I don't want to ever come back here. Never in a million years. Start by opening up your sea chart. Okay. Just shoot right. Just don't shoot right for the dit. Oh. <laughs> Dragon Roost Island. You see all kinds of rocks, big ones. You get the picture. Anyway, long there used to be a treasure hidden inside those things. Take a good look around from the high to the top. Close your toes. No, no, no. Remember whenever we had to sail normally? Ugh. How yeah, we looked like fools. Busting out the, the wind waker every single time. Right, now we are kings. Kings, I say. A bit of a bummer that you have to get the magic upgrade, which is like on the other, complete other side of the map in order to do that challenge. Cause there's just no way you could do it otherwise. And I can imagine People going there and then just beating their heads against the wall. Uh, oh, I assure you, they did. It's 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 nigh impossible even with the magic. Yeah, right. 
there a way to go in there? Okay. I'm pretty sure there's an event that happens later that lets you get to mm -hmm. those taller ones. Does the world flood even more? Whoa. I want to say yes. Or you get... Maybe you get a little boost jump from the god of wind. A little. The, uh... Your red lions transforms into a plane. Or a bird. I see you pressing it. Right. I wish there was a sound effect of him munching on the stuff. You know, I know it's a GameCube game, but like, you could add it in. So far though, good Zelda game. Yeah. Say I'm still not a, the art style. You know, it looks nice. nice. Still not. The seagull. You need to be wary because seagulls blocked wherever big octos are. They don't mess around. Oh, those are the ones that you. I honestly. Yeah. I honestly, I honestly thought the seagulls were just there uh, for you know. Labor. Yeah. Texture. Or whenever you do this and go in cinematic view and then seagulls show up. We are, we are we are actually on our way to the uh, to the place. We're on the right road. We're going. We're just literally got to go straight. Hopefully, they won't have any more fun mini game distractions. But you'll beat them first try. So it's yeah, not really a big deal. But hey, there's another thing. Uh, uh, uh. We've gotten two heart containers out of these some bitches. And then one that was like, uh, if there's heart containers on those platforms somewhere, and you know, I just don't know, then maybe. I just gotta kill one guy. Easy. Really? Jesus. Yep, one guy. Just over and over again. It's the flowers! Have to kill the flowers! Oh, was it really the flowers? It would have been that way. Looks like there's two more. Oh no. <laughs> that was in my own head. It's just... Good way to get supplies, though. Yeah. You guys are really filling me up. That's what she or he said. That's what they said. That's what they said. Fuck off. Was it a time thing, I guess? I think after you kill so many, they just, uh... They just pop uh, up, or oh, there's still one. Yeah, whatever. Just residual dudes. My stuff's full now. Come on, heart piece. Rolls are a little wonky. I noticed that from like the fine tuning stuff. Yeah. In the boat and on the link. Of course. The boat's much worse than the one. Yeah. Also in... This is like the only time where Link doesn't look the best is like in these ships and stuff. The, the light does not do him a whole lot of favors. And you're like, oh yeah, GameCube game. Crazy. Which is crazy to me that they took a GameCube game and then put it on hardware. Two generations later, it was like, yeah, it was like brand new video game. Yeah, I forgot those, uh, the Wii existed. Yeah, right. 
That's like two generations. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone forgets about the Wii because the Wii was fun. But it was just fun. They don't think of the Wii as like hardcore video gaming machine. There's only a couple of Wii games that I actually enjoyed as well. Like, obviously the Zelda games that came out on it. Even though I only played the one. And then, uh... Yeah. Most of the, the, the like, the new titles that they actually made for the Wii. Not for me. There's... That's the Windy Island. Oh, okay. It, there's a lot, a lot of good of stuff on the Wii. Um... They you can look at Alex's Wii collection and they, they put out a lot more real games than I thought and but you know with just how kind of casual the audience was and how easy it was how cheap it was to make video games for it was definitely more of a uh, fun box than you know actually playing stuff you wanted to experience definitely good for parties yeah Oh, it's a party machine. And then fitness, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Man, so... It was... My Wii, I got uh, at a, you know, a video game shop. Second hand, but it was all in box and something like that. And I remember... I remember the, the person who sold it to me was like... He was really mean and unpleasant. And I was like, hey... Uh, I was like... Hey, is there any price difference between that Wii or the other ones? And she was like, no. And I was like, oh, well, can I take a look at it? And she was like, why? It doesn't come with the game. And I was like, yeah, but I just wanted to know if it has... Whoa. Damn. King of Red Lions. No. Oh, what? Wait, what? What? Oh, there. He's over there. I don't know if you'll make that. I don't know either. Shit. If it took you any longer to find them, you would not have made it. Right? We're right. Where is it? There it is. That's where we're going. Um. Wow, that was 50 bucks. Um. She was like, it doesn't come with the game. And I was like, yeah, I know. I just want to know if it has like the, you know, like how, if it's just like a Wii thrown in a Wii box. Um, but. Valid question. Uh, no, it was. Oh, is that her ship? What suck. Um, but, and then, um, she got it down and I was just like, you know. You know, I, I'll... I opened it and it had the inserts and I was like, that's all I really wanted. Um, so I didn't even think much of it. And I just, I saw like the cardboard and I was like... This is... Oh no. Um... Good instincts, I would have uh, given up after the first one. And... But I took it home... Wait, that's you. Oh, Ganon has likely been made aware of our incursion already. Those bombs certainly just do us but any you favors. Have the master sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands, none can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. But I remember. But I remember being like, you know what, just. I don't want to deal with you anymore. I'm going to buy this and if I don't if it's not good, then I'll just return it and get you know something else. I think when I got that Wii, a Wii was only like 50 bucks. So I was like, I'll f I can spend 50 bucks on other old video games. Yeah. Um and uh Oh. Yeah, 50 bucks on other video games and... Um, come on. There we go. 
But then I brought it in the car, took it out. Everything was perfect. It was still in its like. Did you get Wii Sports? I the, yeah, I did get Wii Sports. The thing was in there, even though she was like explicitly said it wasn't in there. Um. And uh, what's it called? And everything was still in like its original packaging, like even like the slip packaging. Uh. And it was just so perfect, and I made this joke that it was, uh, it was your grandma's Wii that she only took to Wii Sports on Sundays. <laughs> um, and, what's it called? But then I looked at the, the play log, and that's what it was, is that whoever, it was owned, it was owned by this two old, these, uh, this old couple, and they played Wii Sports, and she played Wii Fit. And... Like, I saw her Wii Fit log, and I was like, oh my god, look at that, it really was Grandma's Wii that she only took out on Sundays. That's, that's so nice. And I, I kept their Mies in their profile and stuff. Well, that's just pleasant. Uh, probably very lightly used and very well taken care of. Oh yeah, already, they still had all the inserts and everything and packaged it nicely yeah, every, before selling. It, it was so it was so perfect, and I was just like, I was like, hell yeah, man! Other side, you got it. Oh, we're probably gonna cut now. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. The oh, skull go. hammer! Hell yeah! Alright, well on that note... On that note... How was that? Oh. <laughs> I was like, every time I hear those guys, I'm like, do you have some weird ringtone that I just don't know about? It, it wouldn't be that strange for me, would it, though? No, it, that's the thing is I'm always like... Alright, stay nerdy out there, everybody. Stay nerdy.